welcome back to the next series of this our maxing tutorial so in today's video we're going to be working on this particular type of maxing we are not maxing um anything into a text or shape we're just maxing the main image so this is what we're going to be working on in today's tutorial so i hope you get value with this so with that being said let's get started all right so you'll be getting access to the plp file for this design you just get access to the background and everything the way it is the way i send it here so once you've done that you you know you should um in case you don't know how to open the plp file you can do it to check the order um the link will be in the description box below i'll make sure it is labeled properly so you'll be able to know that it is the plp file how to open the plp file i want to keep this video short and simple so i don't want to repeat the same process i've already done it in the previous tutorial so do have to check that out how to open your plp file so after you've opened your plp file you get access to the background only because i have to show you how to max the um image so that way you can get access to the image so once you've imported your plp file do well to open it once you've opened it let me just place this design here so i'm going to be maxing uh the image the way i seen it here we're going to max it so i'll just disable this layer so you can see this is the real um the real image here this is the real image let me go to max and you see let me go to max so this is it i've already maxed mine so i'll just disable the um disable the layer so this is it this is what you'll be getting this is what you'll be getting so after you've done that um let me see the size for my image is um yours will not be the same size because 69103 69103 so what you have to do is just so you can see i've reduced my it has gone to 98 so you just increase it back and um it's 101 just make sure you try it's not almost 69103 just try possible best that it should be around this you know around this range so i'll just go back to my main uh image and my main side rather and see so this is it so when maxing um when doing this type of particular maxing all you need to do is to import the in case you don't have the curves you want to use on your head you need to you know research online and and um look for a particular curve which this is what we actually did in today's tutorial this is um the credits for this video i've given it in a crystal um because it is this design i use the curve the maxing i used that what i use in this um tutorial so as you can see this is the main design just the curve that is the curve we actually imported we used we maxed in our own image so what you have to do is that whatever and anywhere you've seen curve from and you want to use it to max just do have to take a screenshot of that um curve. the link for this design um, will be in the description box below so you just do it to download that too and import that in pixel lab so once you have um, arranged your image as this size this size just do well to place it the way you are placing it here. You can see the down part of it is um is at the second line of the text, which is they are open to blah blah blah. I can't actually read what is there. So just let me show you what I'm saying. This is where the image will be at the second text, the second text part. So just do well to do that and um, just make sure the size is close to my I think that's 69103. Yes. So once you've done that, you um take your the the image which wants the curve to be all right so this is it so i will increase my okay let me reduce the opacity first so i can see see what i'm doing exactly let me reduce the opacity first so i'll zoom in a little bit zoom in a little bit and um hold on zoom. okay just make sure the end all right this uh, the top of also oh, is it the end okay yes the top of the maxing at the end of the image okay <laughs> sorry about that so you just place it here like this let this top be touching here this top this down part here yes yeah you should be touching the this other end of the image or let me just place it here instead all right let me do this i think this yes this is better let me do this okay yes this just make sure this end of the um is touching the the end of the female image so once you've done that let me zoom out back let me zoom out okay you can still increase the size if you want so it can touch the end okay once you've done that it's actually not necessary to do you can max that other part just make sure you increase it to touch the buttons so that is that's what i've done that in case you are not seeing you can just reduce your opacity so you can see Okay, this is okay for us. Leave it at 30. Let's go to 35. Okay, let's stop at 37. So let me lock this um layer. I'll click on my main image. I'll click on my main image and I'll select I'll go to max. I'll go to max. 
so you can see we're maxing in this is in here this is out this is out this is in we're maxing in so i'll delete um this um additional dots which you have here i'll go to actions click on first icon i'll delete that so let me just first let me move this first let me move this first okay just hold on hold on let me delete all the dots which i don't need first okay now let's start let's add um additional okay dots to this click on this part here and click on the add section on let me add three one two three okay once i've done that i'll place this here place this let me just drag it down to get what i'm looking for okay so let me let's zoom in and start maxing let's zoom in and start maxing so this is the first part this one should be outside the design so this one just place it at the top of just be tracing the um the image that is transparent with the main body so that what you're doing okay, this looks a little bit sharp just be doing that just be doing that all right so i'll go to the next part i'll move this here okay we're just maxing that we're doing that we're doing that we're doing that all right i think we're almost finished stop here let me hold on let me stop it first hold on hold on this um tool is misbehaving okay yes this is it let me place it out let me zoom in back and continue maxing so it's actually maxing is not hard i pray you understand this tutorial make sure you trace the um the image which you made transparent with the with ours all right so i'll click on the check mark button now so it has max actually it's not much it's perfect if you want it to pass but you should have known for my tutorials i don't waste time so yeah, that is your own assignment you can go back to make it perfect by yourself so let's just all right so we've done the main maxing so you can see the, the down part of our body is showing so all you need to do is to let me see if i can okay i can move this now uh let's move this this to the hold on okay i can move this yes let me move this i'll click on max i'll click on this I'll stretch it down so it can cut the image or image properly. All right, that's that. I'll place back here. I'll place back there. So I'll delete the. Um, okay, let me just lock the layer. There's no need for doing that. So um, once I've done that, you can see. You just make sure the design looks like this. The shadow will help you out with that. So let me go back to my main image to see. Okay, the next one at the back is white, and the last one is red. So we're going to duplicate the um, the um, this image. I'll click on copy. I'll change to white. I'll change to white. I'll place it here, just at the front now. Let me let me move this first one to the front. Sorry, to the front. So the one that is white, let's just push it down a bit. Let's just push it down a bit. Okay, yes, this is good. Let's copy it again and give this a red gradient. So I think you get. I don't know if you might get um the. If this will be together with the PF profile, let me just tell you the color X code in case you don't get it. So for the first part, which is this part on my right, is um the color X code is this. Do so I have to copy it out? I mean to write it out there. And the next one, which is here, the color X code is this. Do so I have to write that out? So you can see it just straight. The gradient is this straight format. The third one, yes, is the third one. Click on OK. And once you've done that, place your image here again. Place this to the back, not back, back, back. Hold on. What's wrong with this? All right, let me just place this to the front the red the red part will be in the back so that is just that i don't know why my picture like this maybe yes the red part will be in the back so i'll move this down i'll move this down position it just position something like this all right this is okay this is okay let me go back to my main image and see for myself all right yes that's that yes that's that so that is how you, are, you can actually max in pixel lab we're actually true this tutorial I think is edited i edited it with lightroom so in case you now to use lightroom just um go ahead and edit yours so this i can actually max with um without um text or shapes in pixel lab just make sure that the design you are using 
you you know get take a screenshot of it, reduce the opacity and you know max it max the curve with your own image you can actually do your own curve there's nothing wrong with that but in case you really like um a particular curve which is online i actually like this one we use in this tutorial that was from rakusto so you can in case you like something like that just do it to get the the image and reduce the opacity and follow the curves there so i hope you actually found this was really helpful if you did can like share and subscribe do it to let me know the kind of tutorials you like me to create next and i'll see you in the next maxing tutorial Alright guys, we are back in the next maxing tutorial. So you can see from all my maxing videos, I actually did um um something that is kind of let me say unique. So I didn't just do any type of video. I did something you can actually use in your design. If you check everything one out again, you can see you can actually use everything in your design. So this one is actually this one actually uh has to do with your profile your profile um picture my one of my friend asked me to do this and i hope she's actually watching this now <laughs> so this one has, um, has to do with your profile picture so uh, you can actually use it's not most that i'm just showing you how to the main purpose of this is how to, to learn as max so do how to watch this and let's get started so you'll be getting access to this again as player profile it's just the part one the part one of the video i don't think you can really be with that the main the that video is long so the, the rest of the rest of the maximum tutorials you'll be getting access to the profile so I actually mentioned again that you should do well to check out the second video which I did. That one you see how to open um PLP file in Pixel Lab. So once immediately you um open your PLP file, the PLP file which you which you'll be getting is just the background. So you'll be getting the background as um as as PLP file. So once you've imported your open the PLP file, you get only the background. You you see what you're getting. Um so once you've done that, let me just get started with this. We're not wasting time here. Let me just get started with this. So once you've gotten the PLP file, this is the main thing. Sorry, this is the main thing you'll be getting just like this. This is what you'll be getting. So um the, what I'm going to do now is to max our image into this, right? So you import your image here in Pixel Lab. Hold on. Let me see if the size is um okay, 9672. You should be able to get this just increase your width to 96. In case you can't get the heights, I've told you how to do this. Disable this um maintain ratio, disable this maintain ratio, and then you'll be able to increase the the height to 72. Alright, I'll click on the check my button. So um I'll disable the max mode for the one I did. So you can see that I'll disable so you can see this is the main thing that's here. So I'll disable the max mode. I'll disable the max mode for this other um um one in front. Okay, this is actually cheating. So I would uh, disable the okay. Don't worry, you'll be getting you know, and that's how I probably remember in case I don't remember. Um that was not nice to do because the paper files together with is already maxed so i'll try to disable that so you can do it learn it so um this is how it be so there's no information telling you that you should have to import your image to the front or stuff like that just import your image the way i seen mine you can see you can see it already this is what you should just do the first one the, you're not touching the, the one at the back so just put your image at the front so once you've done that duplicate the one at the back since it's already a PMP file duplicate this is it this orange color the orange color which is at the back so once you've duplicated that once you've duplicated that let me see if the maximum is still on okay once you've duplicated that place it let it be the same size as the one at the back you can change the color so you can see what you're doing so and you know to fit it back exactly the way it should be so once you've done that you go to max you go to max and click on okay it's already maxed mine's already okay it's not already maxed you click on um out you are maxing out you're maxing out all right let me just scatter this so you guys can understand what i'm saying very well because this is actually look like i didn't do anything so wherever your own max um this nodes are dot r you just bring it to this part just bring it to this part bring it to this part hold on okay yes no it has to cover the the guy's image so i'll click on the check my button all right so once i've done that once i've done that i'll go to the main image the main image and i'll click on max also i'll click on max also so you can see what we did the for the shape we duplicated and it's placed in front the one we maxed hold on just hold on guys the one we maxed is covering this part hold on okay this is not locked just hold on bear with me the one we maxed actually is covering this part of his body just here if i disable it you see so you can see it, you can see it. So it's covering this. In case you're doing it next time, make sure it covers this part of his body. The reason why it's not showing is because they are you make sure they are aligned. You make sure they are aligned in this particular um area. You make sure they are that's why I said they should be aligned. So if they are aligned and you have maxed um only this part, so this side and this side will merge together. So just make sure you do that. So once you've done that, go to the main image and click on max also. We'll click on max. And I'll click on um okay I'm maxing in. Let me just 
disable mine so you can see what we're doing so you make sure you so what we're going to do now is to be moving these dots and covering the guy's image so you just make sure you delete everything wait i'm sorry cut out everything okay this part is already okay this part is already okay let me just stretch okay you can't stretch this thing very very well hold on let me stretch this thing oh what's wrong with this my pixel up hold on okay this is it yes this is it hold on yes 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 so this is it you can see we already um max the um image into the shape so let me just confirm with this okay this one is no this one is not yet okay the layer is already um disabled but let me show you what i did also let me show you what i did so once you this is in the php file so once you just click on it it's a stroke that is a stroke so go to max and you can see the top this is where i maxed this is where i max i just trace the okay yes let me just disable this i just put it here and put it here very very close to his air very very close to his air let me zoom in sorry let me zoom in so you can see what i'm doing hold on like i said very very close to his air i'll go to the next part hold on okay this is it this is it this is it all right that's that so just make sure you do that so this is it guys this is all for the maxing series i hope you um, got value from this tutorial if you did uh, it would mean a lot to me if you can share this video like and subscribe of course so thank you so much thank you, all of you that are actually check out this video for staying to the end thank you so much for checking out this video it means a lot to me thank you so much i'll see you guys in my next video